Greetings, Battletech fans. So today I'm gonna get on to another mission for called Recruitment Drive from the Magistry of Canopus. This is still an early game mission. So. Greetings, Commander. The Magistracy of Canopus has a task that you are well suited to perform. Accomplish this, and I'll personally ensure my superiors know about your skills. And I have to find a veteran mech warrior, and it's in a tundra mission map that's uh, got mountains and everything. And another thing is, this one's a little more challenging than the other early game missions that I've done. It's two and a half skulls. And um, where I'm standing with funds right now, I kind of want to have a little bit more. The one issue I had with this mission, I played it a few times, was that I was still waiting for one of these guys to heal up, and I really prefer to have two people with uh, sensor lock, and two mech warriors with sensor lock is important to me, at least. And uh, so, that, another thing about this mission is that it can be a problem if you start off having to face a few mechs. So. Uh, Early on, I would recommend trying to start it with just having to face mostly tanks first. Uh, it makes it, the game a little more smooth, and you'll get to the second part of the mission easier. So that's what I recommend. So let's deploy now. Basically, I have all medium mechs. It's not really recommended to have anything lighter than that. So basically my hopes are that this mission goes smoothly and I start off with a few tanks to make the mission start smoothly. So the mission is destroy the veteran mech warrior and escape. Our spies report that the veteran pirate mech warrior from the succession wars retired to the system and the magistry would very much like to keep him retired permanently if possible. We've been monitoring a dropship in orbit around the planet and believe that they are preparing for a pickup. We need you to drop in and intercept this mech warrior before he can be re reactivated. He's likely in a fairly heavy mech, so be careful when you and when you engage him. This mech may be heavy, Commander, but I don't see a lot of mech repair facilities out here, so this might not be as difficult. We'll see about that, Darius. I guess. Command interface initiated. We've arrived at the coordinates provided by our employers. This is where the last transmission from the surface originated from. Engage and destroy the target. Then proceed to the evac zone. Understood, Darius. Hopefully this mission goes smoothly. Let's get started with this, and hopefully we just face tanks to start off with, or else I'm just gonna have to restart this. Waiting for orders. Or just see how bad the mechs are. Okay, here we go. On my way. Affirmative. Move into position. Sensors have something. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. So my hopes are as granted. So we have some tanks to face at first. And the whole thing is they're probably going to face... They're behind this hill, basically. So we have to get up around either way we decide to go. Orders? But our first objective is to clear out these escorts. So here we go. have him jump over here behind covers I guess actually Up high. all right let's see sensor lock this one Sensors. striker got a striker okay next up Medusa Just waiting for orders uh, jump. 
also have him jump behind a rock here, maybe face this way a little bit. And we'll have him sensor lock this one over here if he can. Oh, actually, no, this one right here. Got another striker, striker narc. That one has a narc beacon thing. I gotta be careful. It's the last thing we want. So I think what we want to do Commander. is see if we can take out that one first. <laughs> Affirmative. I can't have Narc breaking on me for the whole mission. So... Don't have range for some reason. Let's see... We'll have him face... Like that, I guess. Okay, so... Let's see... 80, 80, might as well go after this one. I don't know, that seemed like it did much. That was... It's gonna neck, oh, here we go. See, ah, oh, great. Minimal damage on that hit. Great. I forget. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Now this one's really gonna have to be evasive. Man. Good shot. Got past my armor. Let's see. I mean even with tanks it can turn into a mess. That's a rough start. Okay. What we're gonna do about this... Orders. He's got... Let's first of all see how he can attack from where he is. I want to get a little closer for short range missiles, so... We're gonna get in the trees, especially for cover. Firing jump jet. And see, get this one out of here, hopefully. Okay, that's one down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I think that might disable the narc that you have on you, actually, when you take out the enemy. That's just remembered that. Receiving you. Alright. Uh. Well, this one's out in the open too, so I guess we're going to go after it. But first, we're going to put an arc on it. Or not an arc. We're going to put a sensor lock on it. That's what I meant to say. It's got a lock. Okay. So that one's locked. Now, how are we going to handle this? Uh, maybe I'll have Behemoth. Ready for orders. Right now... She just needs to move forward just a little bit more. Maybe into the trees here. Okay. Okay. Get that lock on and fire. Affirmative. Yeah. So, pretty good. One for the scrap. So yeah, it's nice to start off having the face tanks first, because it goes a lot more smoothly than with mechs. Because you're going to face at least four more mechs afterwards, and that's just a freaking mess.
damn it! Oh, that. Oh, I hit me in the meat. Great. Good grief. Shit. I lost it. Stabilizers failed. I'm falling. Commander. Oh. I'm in it. Okay, that was pretty rough actually. I didn't expect that to happen. Those two tanks did a pretty hefty job on the Shadowhawk there. Ready for orders. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing a mid-save game and try to finish this with only three mech warriors. We'll see what happens, I guess. See if I can take this one out now. Locked on. Boom. Enemy vehicle destroyed. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Waiting for orders. Cover over here. All right. Can't do anything. Brace. Stupid things hiding in the trees. Sorry, Medusa. Army's got injured. Good to go. Yeah, he's definitely gonna need to get in the trees. Oh, let's see, can he sprint? We gotta get him in the trees. Copy that. Actually, give him some cover. Hopefully, is he gonna go after him again? Man, ah! well, can't say I was surprised that that was gonna happen. Uh, I think we might have lost him, but. That's just how this game goes sometimes. Yes, Commander. Receiving you. Let's see, I don't have anyone close enough to do a melee, so. Let's see if I can at least do. Uh... All right, good. So that's. Reporting one less vehicle. I don't know how it's going to go with having only three mech warriors, but we'll see, I guess. Waiting for orders. I can jump them up in the trees over here. Jumping. a sensor lock. I have a pretty good feeling that our veteran is this one over here by himself. I've got a sensor lock. Jagger mech. Oh great. And four other mechs. This is where it gets kind of hairy. You know what I think my plan is going to be is to stay away from this side and try to attack him from the side and then get out because I don't know if I want to stay around too long.
I don't think it's always a smart idea to stick around and fire at everything that's on the mission. Sometimes you just have to go for what the target is and get out. But I don't know if I can draw him away from the others somehow. Orders? <sighs> Come on. Commander? Can he jump somewhere safe? Like maybe over here. Lost his signal again. Got a lock. Okay. I kind of want them to go down around this way and attack them from this side. Good to go. But first, they're gonna have to see if they can get some attacking going on now. Jumping. She has no sight. Come on. Uh, he probably just has no choice but to sprint this way. I don't know. Maybe he can make an attack at least. Precise strike. And let's see if we can aim for the head. Target damage. Concentrate your fire. Bring it down. Alright. Pull him out of the trees, maybe? <laughs> I think he's out of the cover again. Or did he? Nah, uh, I can't tell. He went behind the hill. <laughs> so far, the other ones can't get a lock on us, thankfully. But we'll see how it goes. Standing by. First of all, let's move him over here to face this way. Engaging jump jet. Looks like we're gonna have to do a lock again. This thing keeps getting out of lock range. Sensors locked on. <laughs> That's annoying. It's coming up the hill. Standing by. Uh, range about there. Facing. Up high. Why can't she fire? I mean, seriously, what the heck? Took out its AC or took it out. Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. Okay, so here's what we do. Get down here. Oh great. Trying to stay away from the others. Got. Let's get him maybe around this area here. Let's 
precise strike. Um, Ahead. On it. I guess it's just gonna retire. Oh, you know what? That was awesome. Head to the designated LZ commander. And let's get out of here. He just took him out with one hit. Okay. I might be comfortable enough to take out the rest of these mechs. Hmm. Or not. I think we're going to bug out. But we got the veteran mech warrior, so we're out of here now. Time to bug out. I think that's... Where's our escape route? Over here. Hmm. That was gonna be interesting. Yes, Commander. So it's gonna be interesting for sure. Okay. Jump down. Here we go. Well, I wish I had faster mechs on This is gonna be kind of a Sprint for our lives. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, I think the other mech warrior is dead, though, unfortunately. Dude. Reporting minimal damage. Okay. Receiving you. Sprint. Oh, can't go this way. We want to go this way. We want to go this way. Roger that. That gives us some cover in the trees, too. Oh, damn it. But at the same time, it exposes our backs to them. Well, wish me luck. for the drop point. We gotta get out of here. It's gonna be another few turns away. If we're lucky, we can get some distance from their firing. They're up on the hill right now. breach. Internal damage. They're up on the hill right now, so that might speed us up a little bit. Javelins have jump jets, so he might get down here. Good to go. Alright, let's keep going for the drop point. On it. This is getting tense. I don't like that they can still fire at us. Ready for orders. But everybody's getting caught up to each other at least. On it. 
That shot went internal. We might have two or three more turns till we get there. And none of them are trying to jump just yet. Maybe they're too stupid to try to jump. So I think we have a benefit. We might get away easily now. I think we're going to make it. AI is too stupid to jump down. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try to stay in cover here. Man, that jump point seems so far away, but so close. I'm being flanked! Dude. Uh, don't fall over. <laughs> okay. Commander. Well, I do have two other mech warriors if something really goes wrong, but I don't want to lose anymore. Roger, full speed. Dude, they can still get us. My internals are taking a beating. Receiving you. Can't sprint anymore. He's got to do jumps now. Aye, aye. I think he can jump farther anyway. Probably should do jumps from now on. Centaurian might at least be in range of attack. Sprint. Oh, there it is over there. I think once we get over this other hill, we might have more cover again. Let's try to get over this hill. Roger. Enemy's turn. Let's see, they're a good distance from us still. Order. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. So close to the drop point. Too bad we lost that one mech warrior at the beginning. Dang. It was a tank. A tank took a tank. So annoying. Alright. Now I'm relief. It's a good amount of relief. Uh, I should be using that skill, I think. Right. Ready for orders. Copy that. Maybe I forgot to do that with the previous... 
I should have done that earlier on with the other mech warrior, probably. Might have given him a little more defense. But he was doing a sensor lock at the time. You can't, I guess you can't do more than one skill anyway. Okay, folks, so we're at the pretty much the end of this mission. I just have to get everybody out of here. We got a drop point in the middle of this sort of an island. Well, not really an island, but uh, unfortunately we had to lose the mech warrior. I'm not gonna stop now at this point, to be honest. Firing jump jet. I don't like replaying missions too many times. Okay. Commander. Okay. Lifting off. Leave in style. Gonna jump in. Okay. Order. Leave it in style. Affirmative. Okay. Should I stick around just to take one out? I don't know. I just feel like it would be fun. Warning. Enemy is near arc. Should we at least try to take one out? I kind of feel like maybe I should at least try to take one of them out. If I can. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bored about the running right now, so I kind of want to. Show them that they're not supposed to chase us. All weapons <laughs> yeah, let's get let's get that one at least. And maybe more. I'm just kind of feeling like I wanna get some revenge for my lost mech warrior so we're gonna keep going <laughs> on my way I copy <laughs> reporting critical hit Decker. Waiting for orders. And they had a bunch of inspiration to use too. On my way. Alright. 
There's another one. Yes, Commander. Sensor lock. Got a lock. Okay. Yeah, that. It's a fire starter. That's another easy dart. Well, actually, that was the one we were attacking. Okay. So, let's see how this goes. said revenge for Medusa. Commander. For Medusa. Anyway. Locking on target. So seems like it's trying to get away actually. We wanna stay close to the drop point. Also get some extra pay if I get the ambushers, so you know I'm starting to wonder if I should just stay and finish them off. Might be worth it. All weapons Come on, that's gotta take it out. <laughs> Javelin. Hello, Javelin. You're next. I'm really risking some damage for this. Good to go. stick around so we're gonna head out good to go at least we got one of them like I said <laughs> the end of the mission. Here we go. Okay. 
ready for orders. Oh, we got the veteran. We got a little revenge. We're out. Come on, drop ship. Well done, Commander. Let's debrief back in orbit. Mission successful. Your performance was exemplary, Commander. I'll ensure the Magistracy High Command hears about your skills. So we got two successes at least. Destroy the veteran mech warrior and escape the main was success. Destroy the enemy escort was success. We got 25% extra for that. So, I mean, that should do a good amount of boost to our money. Let's see here. So, yeah, he was, he's gone. No more Medusa. So, we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. And he got injured. He'll be out for, I don't know, 20 days. Okay. Let's see what kind of salvage we got here. The Jager mech? Let's go for the Jager mech. So I got two Jager mech pieces now. Alright, so let's see how bad our mech repair damage is. Okay. We still have the Shadowhawk gun. I think that's the one that the Medusa was in. So we're at 3 million. 400 sea bills. Let's see how much we lose from all this repair. That was about 30, 375,000, almost 375, 6,000. Logged and noted. That one shouldn't be too hard. 37 days. Centurion. Let's see. Minimal. That's almost 9,000 sea bill, which ain't too bad for the amount of pay you get. On it. It was basically I'll a, let you know when that's done. a shadow hawk. Uh, let's see. Vindicator. Uh, that's a little more bit. So that's 109. Now we're gonna get below 3 million again. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, uh, blackjack. Let's see. Uh, that's sort of a minimal. So that one too bad either. It was just two big repair bills. Logged and noted. And we're still pretty close. Shouldn't to be too hard. We're still pretty close to 3 million, but that's what I'm going to have to deal with, I guess. And for our barracks, let's see who we have available for mech warriors right now. I only have three available. Uh, Standing by. 110 days. Orders. 14 days. It's good to go. 20 days. So I'm going to have to lead, wait to at least 14 to 20 days before one of them can... And he's still healing. Confirm. Uh, wait. Waiting for orders. He got. He must have got pretty badly hurt. Oh. Well. Wait a minute. Ready for orders. Aye aye. See, this is where I always get confused. He's not really dead, or is he? Because he's there, and it's going to be 110 days. So I get confused by that bugginess of what it's telling me, whether they're dead or just injured. But anyway, I have to wait. Hey, yep. 14. Yep. Waiting for orders. To 20 days before I can do the next mission. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. And that's it for here. The next thing I'm going to be doing is moving on to the first strike mission. So that's where we are, finally. Ready to go off to the first strike mission.